Hey, North Phoenix, Metro Phoenix. You know, it's been a crazy year in real estate in 2021. If you've been looking to buy a home or you've been looking to sell a home, you already know that. But the question becomes, what's going to happen in 2022? And that's what people are asking me. Look, like most industries, real estate has a seasonality to it. For example, toy stores sell more toys in October, November, and December than they do in any other three month span throughout the year. More cars are sold in the US during the second quarter, April, May, and June than any other quarter of the year. Real estate's very similar. The number of homes sold in the spring is almost always much greater than at any other time of the year. It's even labeled as the spring buying season among us realtors. So historically, the number of buyers and listings for sale significantly increase in the spring and remain strong throughout the summer. Once fall sets in, the number of buyers and sellers typically drops off. Last year, however, that seasonality didn't happen. The outbreak of the virus and the subsequent slowing of the economy limited sales during the spring market. These sales were pushed back into the year and last fall and winter saw an actual dramatic increase in the number of homes for sale sold over the previous years. The only thing that held the market back was the extremely limited supply of homes for sale. So what about this winter? Some experts thought that we'd return to the industry's normal seasonality with both the number of purchasers and houses available for sale falling off. However, data now shows that neither of these situations will likely occur. Buyer demand is still extremely strong, and it appears we may, see soon, may soon see an uncharacteristic increase in the number of homes coming to the market. Buyer demand remains really strong, and the latest showing index from the showing time, which tracks the average number of monthly showings on available homes, indicates that buyer activity was slightly lower than at the same time last year, but much higher than any of the three previous years. Take a look at the chart. A report from Realtor.com confirms that buying activity remains strong in the existing home sales market. New housing data shows 2021's feverishly, feverish home sales pace broke a yearly record in October, with last month make, marking the eighth straight month of buyers snatching up homes more quickly than the fastest pace in previous years. Buyer activity for newly constructed homes is also still very strong. Ali Wolf, the chief economist um, for Zonda, recently reported that Stuart Miller, the executive chairman of Lennar, one of the nation's largest home builders, said this about demand. There's still a great deal of demand at our sales centers with people lining up and not enough supply. The only question leading into this winter is whether the number of listings available could come close to meeting this buyer demand. We may have just received the answer to that question. Sellers are about to list. Right now, instead of waiting for the normal spring buying market, new research indicates that homeowners thinking about selling are about to put their homes on the market this winter. Speaking to the release of a report on this recent research, George Raitel, manager of economic research for Realtor.com said, the pandemic has delayed plans for many Americans and homeowners looking to move to the next stage of life are no exception. Recent survey data suggests the majority of prospective sellers are actively preparing to enter the market this winter. So that's where we're heading. It looks like we're going to have more homes for sale coming up this spring. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be a very strong year in terms of buyer activity as well as seller activity. That leads me to believe that as we move into 2020, 2022, along with the projected increase in real or uh, what do I want to say, mortgage rates, you're going to see a softening of the rate of increase of home prices. Probably going to be front loaded towards the beginning of the year. And as we move towards the end of the year into fall and winter, you're going to see that rate of increase slow to even further back to a normal level of three to four percent. And going into 2023, if I were to be really brave, maybe even drop farther below that. So that's the projection for the coming year. If you have any questions, reach out to us here at the Right Move team, where we find people we like, the home they love. See you in my next video.